So we've had three wonderful finals. But now we have the third, fourth place match to come and uh, two players to watch in this one, the thrilling Osea Kolinisau, bit of a veteran on the tour and the brand new kid on the block this season for Australia, Henry Hutchison came in in the sevens team which won their way to the Olympics in the qualifying in Auckland, New Zealand before Christmas 2015 and uh, he's really made his mark in the big league uh, in 2016. Well this is the third fourth place so no trophies at stake here but points at stake. Quite big points too near the top of the table. Before Vancouver and after Las Vegas last week here's how the World Series table looked. Fiji were in the lead by five points from South Africa, but Fiji are not in the final where the really big points are. South Africa is to play New Zealand. Australia will play in fourth place against Fiji. So there could be a little jumble and change of the order at the top. But well done. The top four seeds, as it were, have made it through to the last two games. And there are the points available, the cup winner, Either New Zealand or South Africa will take 22 points. The runner-up will take 19. The third, fourth place points for the game we're about to see will take 17 points for the win and 15 points for the runner-up in that game. And the plate winners you've already seen, 13, 12 and 10 for the semi-finalists each in the plate level. The bowl winner will take eight, the runners up seven, the semi-finalists five, the shield winners three, runners up two and semi-finalists one each. Well, <laughs> this is what is happening in North American sevens rugby at the moment. These superstars are being born and uh, they're going to match up to the imagery that's been done for them and there is Perry Baker. Well done to those people. Dallin Stanford is with me and this is real now. D Dallin, uh, come to you in a moment as we set up this third, fourth match between Fiji and Australia. And you can see that Australia's had some good wins, 21 as against 45. And that all counts for nothing really because it's down to these 14 players on the field and the four players from each side who will come off the bench. You can see that there's only 11 in the squads on each side. That's because one player each has been lost uh, by injury. The Aussies have actually lost their captain, uh, Lewis Holland, right out uh, of contention for this game. But third, fourth, a good one to play for. And the kids are coming out with the ball for this one. Nice touch to bring the ball out and wave to the fans. 35,000 welcome the ball and the teams for the third, fourth game. Fiji to play Australia. Two exciting young teams. Anything could happen here. Here's Dallin Stanford. I'll let you get a word in Dallin. <laughs> what a difference one week makes. They were in the finals last weekend and here right now Australia losses to Canada. And of course New Zealand, their rivals, they find themselves here against Fiji who had four great wins in a row and then losing to a brilliant South Africa side. The referee for this one is Rusto Rasavengi. That total of matches he's been in control of from his career start continues to build 193 on the men's tour. This is a stop for him. This is a stop for him in the men's tour because uh, he switches to the women's tour from here. And uh, when it gets to the Olympic Games in Rio, he'll be back doing both the men's and the women's. Rasta Rasavinki. Quake Cooper, you see, is one of the big personalities in this game as the kickoff comes here from James Stannard and Australia in their gold colours go in against Fiji in the white and the black. The third, fourth playoff in the HSBC 7 Series here in Vancouver. We've got some thrilling players, both young and old, in this game. Good work there by Quade Cooper straight away. He's ripped the ball out of the hands of Colini Sao, the Fijian captain, and the Aussies are having the first play with it. Here's the elusive Cooper. His pass doesn't quite connect. 
but the referee says that was a that deliberate was knockdown there. and so early on there is a man going to the bin for Fiji well drama and excitement right in the first 45 seconds Australia with a man up and of course Chucky Stannard he is their playmaker look for him to get involved Kitty only telling you so the game resumes seven against six Australia have the advantage here Cooper puts a man into the gap you saw that little pause and then the bullet pass to try to create space it didn't quite come off but looks like the Aussies are keen to use the brilliance and the skill making of Cooper but I love Al not able to hold on here Okay, crap. As you know, in the game of sevens, they got to take their chances. Fine. So, t clock ticking away here for the man in the Simpson for Fiji. Mulivoro. He goes for the gaps always. Turns up all over the park. Imosi Mulivoro. Out wide, it's gone from Joshua Viti. He's been a rare player to start on the tour. Halfway line. Running with the ball there. Vera Malua, one of their danger men as well, as is the monster figure of Pio Tuai. Six against seven. And they've got the ball and the break and the try for Dakuwanga. Scoring a try with six men is so difficult, but Fiji make it look easy. Dakawanga spots the gap and busts straight through for the opening score in this game. Such a delight to watch. Conversion to come from Colony South. Dakawanga has been working uh, at Nandi Airport for a, a long time now, security officer there. That's the big tourist uh, arrival airport in Fiji. There he is. And so the South Pacific touch shown there on that try. And here is uh, on the sideline the Samoan team doing their uh, celebration. It's called the, the Manu Samoa. And it's the challenge laid down to teams. Uh, and it's symbolic to them challenging other teams for the next tournament. Uh, so many of the nations of the Pacific have a challenge. Uh, Tonga and Fiji and Samoa and New Zealand with its haka, of course. And uh, now we have the game resuming. Kong Foley, seven points to nil. Fiji lead. First look at this game for Henry Hutchison. This live wire, out wide, backline runner for the Aussie team, Stannard. There's a bouncing pass, not connecting, but the referee, Rastabengi, has ruled the Fijian players offside. Stanford. Cooper. Stanford again. Cooper. Found a little bit of an old-fashioned sevens period of play there. They don't mind bouncing on the feet like a middleweight boxer to keep possession and probe for the gaps there is Cooper deflected away by Talinga who's back on the field from his spell in the sin bid 2.45 to go the third fourth place match in Vancouver lost forward wow it's a bruising one indeed it's what you expect from the Fijians but the way they pass the ball with one hand around the tackle is just phenomenal stuff. Cooper actually got put on his back there. Told to take a seat. Set him on his wallet. Okay, crouch. Mind. That's cruel. There's a lot of uh, good, solid professionals in this game now. BG team, of course, still with the backdrop of the incredible damage at home from Cyclone Winston. Messages home throughout the week to see how the repairs are going. And the fans here in the stadium donated monies from the sale of the tournament 
programs and the British Columbia government, the BC government, donated $100,000 to start the rebuild or assist with the start of the rebuild of Fiji. So some wonderful backstories uh, here to this tournament. The, the Samoan team, for instance, lost two Mine. players, one through injury, but one Six. through the very sad death of the mother of one of the players. And they couldn't get replacements here in time. So they played so wonderfully and won the previous final with only 10 in their squad when they can or could have had 12. Some very human stories. And of course, Keith uh, Kalini Sauer there in your picture and Wasali Sarev, we spoke to him, dedicated last week's victory okay, to off, the people please. of Fiji off. back home. Something something small for them to take, a little bit of hope yeah, Jerry, as they rebuild there. Yes, Jerry, just bring Yes, and they made reference to the fact that they just wanted to win it to hopefully put a smile okay. for a short time on those people devastated by the cyclone back home, Cyclone Winston, and the theme of their their country's rebuild and the, certainly with the team here is we are stronger than Winston oh and here is the sadness for Australia this is Henry Hutchison who was uh, born in 1997 so he's only just turned uh, 19 years of age and he hobbles to the sideline let's give this guy recognition too for the impact he's made on the sevens world in the brief time he's been on the tour and let's hope we see much more Five. of Henry Hutchison. Set. Just love watching two tough teams playing it out. Uh, and this time we've got John Porch, who's a new player in the team for this tournament. He's uh, made his debut in Wellington. Quade Cooper. Got the twinkling feet. But his grasp on the ball leaves a bit to be decide, desired, Quay, and he's handed it off to Vera Malua, and you shouldn't do that. Now there's the try scorer, Dakuwana, and there's a pass out wide, and it's the man who's all over the park at all times in every tournament he plays, in Musi Muliboro. Well, Quade Cooper, he had the great sidestep for the dance, and then the ball just magically was disappeared out of his hands. Copperfield stuff, and in the end, Mulaboro scores for Fiji. Mosi Mulaboro, he's been around a while, 30, 17 tournaments, but he just can't get a start with Colinia Sal there and uh, Jerry Too Wide. But he's been patient and he's got the call up again and he's takes his chances when they come and they're going to have a restart just before the halftime break. His try makes it 12 to nil. This is the third, fourth place match. This could well have been a final if these two teams had have won their very exciting semi-finals. Sam Myers on the field. From the bench, Con Foley now. This is uh, Johnston. He's also uh, new in the team this year. Tom Kingston, sorry, Tom Kingston. Tough run here by Stefan van der Volt. And, well, new kids everywhere. Van der Volt, Thunderbolt, try under the posts. Yeah, from Klerksdorp in South Africa originally, spotted the eye of the coaches, and a friend, and cutting back in, that is an absolute magic try from the big man, and just before the half as well. That could make a big difference in the game, the conversion is over to make it just 12 to 7. It'll be a vital part of the game to see who scores first in the second half. 12-7 to Fiji.
Well, secret stuff there between Ben Ryan and his captain, Colin Nussard. Turn his back to the camera and the microphone. Crafty move, Ben. And the message going out in the Fijian language to the boys. They're in the lead in this one. 12 to 7, but it's anybody's game. Third, fourth game. Third, fourth playoff game. Here's the cracking visage of James Stannard. Here is Sam Myers. What an impression he's made in the Sevens team this year. He was in the dream team after Las Vegas last week. Such was his excellent form. That's right, he's just such a strong ball carrier. He does all the hard work. He can score tries and win kickoffs as well. Referee Rastabengi kicks off, uh, uh, blows the kickoff, and the second half begins. And lost forward in that vital part of the game where arms are flying and fingers are grabbing for the ball. Quite often we have stops there, but it's all important that. Uh, Possession is secured there because uh, I think there's a stat that says that if you grab the ball at the kickoff, you score over 80% of the time that follows. That is very true, Keith, and that's why it's the most practiced set piece. Although only 20% of kickoffs have been retained here, just a little bit of friendly <laughs> short pulling there. That's uh, Muli Voro. Pulling at Stanard's shorts, they just annoy him, just annoy him a little bit, just to distract his thinking, his planning. See if he does it again here. Watch Fine. number six to see if he pulls the shorts. Here he is. See that? Oh, Willie Bolo is like, yeah, like, like, like he's like an ingrown hair. Oh, oh, it's just annoying. <laughs> here goes Cooper, and he gets it out wide to the flying man who ran so well, Porch. In the first half, that's a second good run by Porch. A lovely pass by Cooper. That's quality there. And Cooper goes again. I think Cooper should go full bore here. He jinks a bit, but sends the out of backs Van der Vault into space. It's worked out well because here's Myers on the 22. Australia are behind, but they have possession. No, they haven't. Molivoro in his keenness to get the ball has locked, knocked it forward. You're right, though. Cooper should go full ball, have a real crack. He can't be standing still. He's just got to take it at speed and put that step, the jump step of his. This is that last bit of this. Just a little bit of soccer being played in the end there from the Fijians. Strapping coming in here. And there is Cooper. Hasn't started very much in this game. If he wants to go to the Olympic Games, he's got to... Uh, get as many tournaments on board uh, as he can. We wonder if we'll see him in uh, Hong Kong and Singapore and Paris and London as the four tournaments remain. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to be bold and say I, I don't think he's, he's, he's fitting in as well as one would have hoped. Again, the nice pass. That one's a good one to Tom Kingston. But again, from it, the ball has gone on the Fiji side. And here they come. Talinga is giving it away now to Jerry Tua. And now with big Dakuwanga, who's been so impressive here. And uh, now it's gone to Mother Nadangi. And here is the Dakuwanga again. Out wide to Viri Malua. Runs with the ball in one hand. Can pass it in one hand. Did it hit someone's hand there? If it did, it went backwards, says referee Rastavenge. And now we're having another period where uh, there's a lot of uh, dropsy being played. Time off. Yep. There were bodies everywhere down Keith on the ground. Eight errors made in total, five for Australia. The score is only 12 7. But boy, these players are putting their bodies on the line. So impressive are the Fijians at offloading. They get tackled and are able to throw it away. That one doesn't quite go to hand. It still goes backwards. And then some of the Aussie bodies come flying in. Van der Velt as well was in there also, I think. Fiji played two thrillers early in the second day. The first against USA. They won it an extra time, 31-26. And they 
then lost to South Africa. Could just have, as easy as gone their way. South Africa through to the final. Space now for Fiji, just 15 metres out. Diving into the ball is Jerry Tuwai. Now here's Australia, here's their chance. Connor Mitchell, the young man, in his first tournament into the game. Bit of tough pulling on the hair, but it looked like on Fa'alaba out. And here's a breakout run by Tom Kingston. But he's been buried by Talinga. And that was a heavy fall by on Kingston from Talinga. And this is tough stuff now. Joshua Vitti away from Myers. Out to midfield now. It's gone to Connor Mitchell. And now it's running again from John Porch. And if he brings this round, Australia might get the lead because the kick for extra points will follow his first ever try on the hsbc series and it was a beauty at that stretch the legs got the gallop going and the jump as well 100 meter hurdles he's over in the corner and australia were down to six because the play was down after he got crunched there kingston is still heavily oh he looks a bit groggy as he leaves the field on this side but it's 12 all keith what a thriller Kingston staggering to the sideline. Wade Cooper could take the lead. Let's look at his kick. It's a good one. And Cooper has done it. Some might say against the odds. Port scored the try. And Cooper converted. The Aussies have got the lead. Two minutes to play. Last week they went down to Fiji, and so that's always in the back of their minds. They want to finish off this tour on a high to the men from Australia. Now Cooper, a flat kickoff. That's an unusual one, and a very good one from Cooper. He went flat for position and got good ground gained. Very clever indeed. I've always wondered why you kick to the pods that are already waiting, especially when they lift each other these days. So, deft touches from Quake Cooper have Australia up by two. Just faces Jerry Tuwai. Subs happening now. Referee speaking with the Aussies and subs coming on. Oh, it's a, a substitute for Fiji. Uh, Savanatha Rawatha is going to go right out onto the edge of their back line, and that is where he is dangerous, no, number 11, because he gets the ball and he's like uh, a big bus coming at you. And there's the throw, and it's gone to Colin Nassau, and they're trying to get it to Rabatha straight away. Colin Nassau into contact. Nangusa, jumping ball, he's off the bench, Talinga now off the uh, yellow carded. And there is Rawatha, probing for gaps in midfield. Colin Nassau, Rawatha here, trying to bust his way forward. Very good tackle by Alan for a lover out Fiji no this is desperate times Mother Navangi is on the field here is Nemani Nangusa this is Kitioni telling who scores tries at vital times in the game and here's the man off the bench who can score them from anywhere in the park Australia have done well in this ruck and it's their possession and it's gone to Sam Myers, and he's offloaded to Port. And what a wonderful start for John Port to come into the team, former Australian schoolboys player. And he has just one tournament to his name. It was in Wellington, and back again in Vancouver, he has made the difference. His name will be very popular in Australia right now. And look at this dive. Five metres short just to slide over as well. Who came over? Delight for Australia. They've come back off the last week's loss and done superbly here in the third, fourth place clash. What do they say? If you don't like it, stay under the porch. Well, he uh, scored two critical tries 
And here is Cooper's conversion attempt. Time is up on the clock. Australia have won this one and won it well. It was the third, fourth playoff game and a critical player in the game was young John Porch, 22 years of age, and he's written his way into the Aussie scoring with two very good efforts and they've won it well. The third, fourth points, the best of them for third place will go to Australia.